so is his cardio. When he does his entrance, when they did it to him again, he comes from the outside, the opening shot, down the fucking stairs, and everybody's yeeting and waving. And by the time he gets to the ring, you can tell it, it's good that he can only say, like, three or four, he puts out three or four words, and they'll go yeet. So he has time to, to breathe in, and then, and then I want to title yeet. And then I beat his ass yeet. Because that's all he's got to win for after he goes through this whole thing. And basically, he just said, I lost the Intercontinental title, so I cost them the tag team title. And now, I want to talk to one specific Oose, and boom, and Jimmy Uso's music plays, and out he comes. And Jimmy thanks Jay, and said, we need to be together, because they ain't the ones. And then Jay says, well, we not the ones either. And that is a quote, we not the ones either. Because a lot of people don't think it'd be like it is, but it do. But then, Brian, did you listen closely to this, or did you kind of zone out with the eating? Because it, it seemed to me that Jay cut kind of a confusing promo, or you couldn't tell whether he's happy with Jimmy or not. Through, through this middle part here. Yeah, I mean, I thought, you know, he was acting like he was still kind of mad, but it was also apparent that he was going to forgive him in his own unique way. <laughs> well, then the fans started chanting Uso, and, and basically, that's, that's the thing, is that there's still some tension here. Was it the... The, you know, the, the most succinct of promos. But uh, Jimmy tells Jay to come to SmackDown to talk to Roman. And Jay says that he will be there. And once that they got that bit of news out, here came the Tongas. And they jumped him and But the Usos were fending off the Tongas until Solo sent Jacob in. And then they beat him up a little bit and they tied Jimmy up into ropes and they were going to bash Jay's head in with the, the ass in the face of the chair and the, the ass in the face of the chair. And the, they, we could make a children's song out of that. No, we can't. Well, you can pitch in too. I'm not have anything to do with this song, no. What, do they like the ass in the face in the chair in the ring and the. Must be a southern thing. Yeah, well, like the ass in the face or the chair and the thing in the ring. <laughs> and the sky's up above, in the chapel of love. Let me tell you about the way. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay, but anyway, so what happened was Jay clocked Jacob in the face with the chair and he was so clear in the ring. And we were nearly 20 minutes into the program by the time that this whole thing resolved itself. That's my comments on that. Yeah, I mean, it was good storyline stuff. They both got the intensity down. They're over, so they can say nothing and it seems to work. <laughs> I'm just thinking of any other television show that I've ever been on in my life. They would be screaming if the, to say what needed to be said and the guys took 20 fucking minutes to get that accomplished, but... And Raw's only two hours now, but they say they're still milking. They're, they're utterly milking the cow for everything they get. And who can blame? They're swimming in money. They're building a money bin. A Scrooge McDuck money bin right next to the, the mountain where they keep the, the tapes in the fucking cave. 